Hello McWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are playing our first medium mech today. We have a cicada and it's coming to life. We only need 40 days until it's ready and I'm super excited because I think it's gonna be good. Bunch of medium lasers, one large laser and, and that's all we need I guess. We have some missions here which I'm not really too keen on playing. I mean we can play the raid but we have farmed all of these missions quite extensively. We need to, I guess we need to go to higher tier areas right now. Right, let's see. So, 27 days to get there. And honestly, I think I want to wait the extra 13 days to get our cicada online and, you know, give it a little bit of a test run. See where this is going. Also, we find all the exploration quests here. I'm not going to play them right now. It's not really what I would enjoy, I guess. But hey, let's see. Here we go. First mission of the day. Playing against the independents for the Federated Commonwealth. We are not really getting a lot out of here because we are in bad standing with them. But hey, whatever. Just whatever. So, Panther, get out of here. I'm gonna take my cicada now. And I probably... Huh? Can I? There we go. I probably want the other pilot with 3 out of 6 energy proficiency. Beautiful. So we can put Hunter here with his trusty Panther. And I'd say, yeah, we're ready to go. 13 days. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. We run about 100 kph with the Cicada. We should be fine. We don't need to be the fastest mech on the battlefield because uh, the enemies are still relatively small. They will come towards us. And um, we have the large laser to take a bit of aim into the sky when the enemy flyers appear. Okay. Let's go. We've Game's a bit laggy to today. Huh? What's going on here? Got group fire going. Ooh. Alright. So, a thousand meters. Let's go, everybody. I think I also want my large laser to be on the mouse button 1 and the mediums on the mouse button 2. So, 900 meters. We're gonna go to the first base. Let's check it out, guys. Man, having three mags is a game changer. I can tell you that. Just having the extra firepower and the extra armor on the battlefield makes it so that our overall survivability is better. Because we can be more offensive, taking enemies down faster, that means they have less chances to hit us in return. Uh, that's a tank. Hello, tank. J. Edgar. And that's the thing we are supposed to destroy? I mean, don't mind if I do. Uh, the Scorpion needs to go. I'll pull back from that. Yeah, they are a bunch of things. Ooh, they got some gnarly tanks here. Let's go. That's a tank. Come on, come on, come on. Down. Perfect. What are you? Why are you shooting me with your nasty SRM? Good. So far, so Gucci, I would say. So we go ahead and take this and then go for the tank later. I really feel like my DPS is extremely slow. <laughs> oh my god. So, J. Edgar, you need to go, man. Large laser, medium laser, all the lasers. I know that my objective is behind me. Got another one. Scorps are actually quite nasty. But I want the Edgar now. Put so much effort into it already. There we go. And it's worth noting that our heat management is alright, it's not the best, but I would say if we manage our our trigger finger a little bit, then it's gonna be alright. It could be better, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Man, these batteries, they take so much to take down. Come on guys, let's focus it. I need your help. Beautiful. Okay, so far so good. We have the first objective down. Let's keep going. I think we already triggered the base over here. Maybe. I don't know. The J. Edgar and the Scorpion coming towards us earlier. That might have been them. Really? We got four of those things? Ugh. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna get that done. Let's get in here. Oh. There's a flyer. We're gonna take that thing down because the base doesn't shoot back, but these things will do. Yeah, let's get some damage on these things. Ah, tank. 
Don't like to get shot by an auto cannon five over and over again. That's not nice. Okay. I'll take the tank down while my friends are going for the objective. Cool. So now it's all about the heat management. One down. Only 12 to go. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't shoot my large laser, by the way. And it's worth noting our cicada is not melee capable. So we cannot punch anything in case we are running too hard. We don't have arms. We only have these little side shields on our shoulders. Got that thing. Great. Ooh, big explosions here. Good. Another base. Another thing that could hurt us. Careful with the friendly fire. Alright, I'll take the turret down. Great. So. Luckily, we didn't really take damage yet. But, unluckily, we didn't really find any good enemies yet. That means our salvage options are relatively limited currently. Guess we're gonna try to find some more laser weapons. Also. Oh, by the way, medium lasers are very common items. And we have the ability to upgrade weapons in this mod. Which means we're just gonna pick some low tier mediums and we're gonna upgrade them to higher tier mediums so that we have more damage output and better cooling. Or less heat buildup this way around. Ah, come on. What's going on here? That's the thing I'm supposed to destroy, right? Yeah, come on, guys. Get that thing. Critical. Eat critical. That's the story of my life today. <laughs> oh, boy. By the way, do they explode? Like, do they deal area damage when they explode? Where's my Jenner? Everybody attack. Yeah, we go. So, let's keep going. The panther already taking some damage to the right arm is uh, a little bit nasty because that's where its major firepower sits. But hey, here we go. Again, the, the 91 kph that we run, it's nothing too crazy. That's alright. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Take them quickly. Luckily, these are just cavalries and warriors. Should be easy to take. Very good. But they have weapons. Look at them. The cavalry helicopter had two SRM6s, which could have actually dealt some damage to us. 2,000 meters, guys. Let's go. It's also kind of funny. We have some friends which are not moving right now. Which mod was it again that I should disable? I always forget. Was it TT Rules AI? Is that the one? Is that the one messing with the AI right now? That makes sense, right? Maybe I should disable it. Or was a pilot overhaul? I don't know, honestly. Okay, we got the turret. It's worth getting these things down. We might find some weapon systems that we want to salvage from them. Okay, on to the next base. 1400 meters. Luckily, our large laser can shoot quite a long distance. 900 meters maximum. 450 optimal. So we should be in medium range with that thing. But we can start engaging at long range if we have the heat threshold. So, let's see, what do we find here? Take that. Take that. Ah, so the four mediums are enough to destroy one of these turrets. That's good to know. Huh. I don't see anybody contesting us yet. Interesting. There's a guy. Incoming missile. Where from? Oh, Patton. Okay, okay, okay. It's just an LRM-5. I want to get the Scorpion down first. Focus down one tank and then go for the other. That's my plan here. Okay. Behind me there's a turret. But the tank needs to go first, I guess. Is that true? Who knows? Let's go. So, that's, a, that's an actual mech. We got an urban mech on the battlefield. Take that. Yeah, and they need to really take down that, that Irby. Which is a thing that we are doing quite well right now. Okay, keep going. Another turret. I'm getting attacked by the tank quite a lot right now. Uh-oh. But hey, we got the autocannon. Gonna swivel over to the pattern. Good. Let's damage him. Oh, he's looking at me. Let's get out of here. Huh? No? 
Maybe? There we go, finally. So, we have a bunch of these batteries to destroy again. And we're gonna focus with the ones in the back. Uh, I don't think we had... We actually could give the attack order here, so let's do it again. Alright, let's go. Man, this is kind of a chill mission. Enemies are not really setting us under pressure. We're taking a lot of damage to our center torso, though. That's the thing I don't really enjoy, honestly. Is that an indicator for the cicada to die quickly? I don't know. Ah, yeah, let's take these. Okay, another one buys the dust. There's a tank. Should totally take that thing. It's just a harasser. Oh, that's a Valkyrie. All right, they're, they're sending in reinforcements now. Hmm, okay. I'll turn around. Let's see where the Valkyrie is. I need line of sight. Did you get him? I guess so. So, here it is. Nice center torso hit. And we're gonna underrun him. His LRM has no power if we are beneath 180 meters. Okay. Try again. I mean, the, the salvage is utter garbage. Absolutely bad, but... Again, I was just playing this as a test run. We're gonna definitely go for higher tier now. Now that we know that our cicada works. And we t technically don't have to really change anything right now. My next goal should be to find another mech, by the way. Only if we have four mechs on the battlefield, we can think about upgrading. Some damage on the Edgar again. Another one. I hate those. I hate him so much. Good. Down he goes. Where's the other guy, huh? Come on, show yourself. Alright. So our friends are on the single gun. I'm on the secondary, the secondary gun. Let's see who's faster with the killing. Nope. Not yet. I really feel like I, I shoot more often. That leads me to think, should I go for another mech? So that I can deal more damage. I don't know. So, we're done. All objective destroyed. I'm gonna s jump over to the Jenner. Because we wanna extract as quickly as we can. Sure, let's go. 113. This is just a bit faster than 91, but it matters. Fire coming down. Yeah, we can we can only hope to shoot him with the medium lasers, nothing else. Let's go. There's no reason to stay any longer. Okay, we did it. Didn't quite get him. Come on, one more shot. Ah! No! So close. <laughs> so damn close. Cool! Hey, we have a cicada! Okay, it's not the most exciting mech in the world, but it is a mech. And I think I like playing with the Panther a little bit more. It's it's a bit more exciting to play with the LRMs and the medium lasers than with the very slow firing large laser. Now, what do we take? We have six picks that we can think about. Everything is tier zero here. Wanna take an Urby? Might as well, huh? Why not? Let's take some Urban Mech parts. Alrighty, so that was the first mission. Let's go and just get on the battlefield again as quickly as possible. Get the repairs going, get the Cicada going. Uh, the question is, do we jump over here? It's a tier 18. Uh, 18 is a lot. I guess we could play 16. It's against the pirates. Eh. Eh. It's an 8v8 duel. Uh, it's, it's doable, I guess. It's duelable. Garrison duty. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go for the garrison duty there. It's a tier 11, so we are above the 10s now. That's good. Uh, we also discovered another industrial hub. It's very important. Okay, so what are all our finances like right now? That's also a thing that we need to keep track of. Because last time we were very much on the edge, and we still are. Oh boy. So, gotta play some contracts then. We start with uh, garrison duty. Let's go with that. We get two picks. Beautiful. 
And I'm gonna still go for the salvage here. There are still some mechs to get. Expect limited visibility and sensor malfunctions on this mission. Just so that I don't have to swap around. Here we go. So, playing the Panther now. Leave the Cicada as a secondary fire support. Uh, we should probably give it a roll. Probably the Skirmisher roll. Just doing some hit and run stuff. Um, You know what? I'm gonna do it next time. Not right now, because I just want to get on the battlefield again. So, here we go. I'm excited. This is a but garrison duty, right? So, tier 11. We might find some uh, medium mechs here. We still have some parts. We already have some parts. Enemy forces have Let's go. Into ally territory and now threaten the facilities at North Point Alpha. We are the closest forces in Whee. a position to intercept. So Man. let's move out. All of a sudden, we run 130 Reach kph when we jump contact. around. That's quite a good chunk of acceleration. Like, a, a velocity even. It's good. It's really good. We should use that more often. We got an LRM carrier. Oh, he's already attacking. Ah, he's too far away. That was a waste of ammo. Oh, the commando's also coming. Okay, we're gonna try to hit him from, like, here. Not entirely sure why we already have vision. Or sensors, actually. But I love that we can soften them up. Yeah, yeah, I know. There, there's a tank in the base. I'm gonna take care of that in a second. Oh, almost got him. Cicada doing the work of Kerensky. Let's go. Or Blake, or whoever. Few famous person's name here. It's only tiny bits of damage with the laser here because we are not in optimal range, but... Got him. Meteor Mag, a Vulcan with an LB-10 autocannon. That thing is a good one. I sh think I should attack it. Isn't that the base is giving me their sensor information from their radar dishes that they have? Or why am I able to attack this guy? Why is my sensor range so good? Attack! Whoop. I don't want to get hit by your LBX. Yes, I'm gonna get hit by an LBX. No, but fine. So, I was a little bit too easy on the trigger finger, uh, as it as it seems, right? Good. Good, good, good. Uh huh. More enemies. Another medium mag. Ooh, shadow hog. Oh, give me that hog, man! I would love to have a shadow hog. Constant early fire with the LRMs make it so that we generate quite a good chunk of initial heat and then we are closing in. Yeah, and the jumping. And the jumping. That means that we are hot when the enemies are in range. That's usually not a good idea, so we should be a little bit careful. Good. Chain firing like a boss, cooling down, going for the hog. I want that thing so bad. I love Shadowhawks. Absolutely fantastic medium mag. And I should not expose myself. You got an auto cannon 5. Yeah, that thing. Okay. Let's go in. Zap. Coming in with the laser beams. Ah, uh, we should probably go for leg there, right? Do I do? Hit him down, come on. You cannot run. Uh, maybe you can. Your auto cannon is dead. Dead. D destroyed. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Let's go. I can shoot and extract things from the area at the same time. Uh, we got an SRM2 level 2, not bad. I could go into the Jenner. Is that it? Come on! There we go. So, turning around, I see a fire starter and I see an assassin. That's a melee assassin with a claw. Good. And these are the last two enemies. Yeah, we should probably go for tier 15 missions. We should be able to get that done. These guys, they're a joke, more or less. Hey, fire starter. 
Get over here, come on. Uh-huh, so far so good. Get a bit more damage on the guy, and then we're gonna send in our skirmishers. And I'm gonna pull back. Ah, that ah, kinda worked. He's open. Ah, not quite. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Come on, guys, you can take that guy. I'm gonna go for the assassin already. Maybe I'm not. My LRMs are out. Okay. There's that. Do I need more ammo? I think the answer is yes, obviously. In this mission, we need it more. But at the same time, we can fall back to our laser beams. It's not the biggest of deals. Actually, left side twist. My right side is where my weapons sit. Yeah, center is open. Oh, I'm gonna go alpha, just to take him. Eh. We got him. So, that was the last guy. We did it. Easy mission. We should really play the duel, I think. It's an AV8 as well. That means that our friends will probably help us and serve as meat shields for us. So we can probably play that. And in duels, you usually have higher tier enemies, which means higher tier equipment, better mech salvage that you can potentially get. So that's the thing that we will that we'll do right now. Next. Next mission is going to be the duel. I'm not really too keen on playing a multi-mission right now. Not with four max. Oh boy. So, that's an XL Vulcan with endo steel and double heat sinks and all the goodies. But it is a Vulcan. We got three parts of it already. Like, of a different Vulcan. Of a different one. Uh, it's rough. Where, where's my where's my fire starter, huh? Also, the LBX is not bad. I don't see the... Oh, it's not here. Am I blind? I don't see the Shadowhawk. Ah, so that means that we don't get it. In that case, it's easy. We will take another medium laser. Again, we want to upgrade those. And two parts of a Vulcan. Maybe we can actually finish that guy. Pretty good. Uh, speaking of, do I want to do a thing right now? We could upgrade tier 1 to tier 2. Eh. Not really a thing that I'm super keen on doing. Is that a big upgrade? It will cost us 20,000 sea builds to do that. Fine. Fine. I'm not gonna put it in a mech yet. I think this is a thing that we do when we get to an industrial hub, when there's like a major refit time. Beachhead Demolition, difficulty 11, defense... Ugh. Let's go to... Ciampino, right? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. General refit, cicada refit, more exploration quests. Again, I'm not really ready to do them. Not yet. But let's see what we can squeeze out of that duel. This is a rather high tier planet. And I, I could take a look at the intel now to see what we potentially find, but we could also just get in there. Tier 16. And then another garrison duty, tier 11. Doable. Very much doable. Um, actually, what if we go garrison duty first, get some re reputation, and then play the duel with maybe another pick? Let's try that. Let's do exactly that. So, it's another defense base. Enemies will come towards us. We have to defend and uh, see uh, if we can survive and you know, get some get some nice stuff from the battlefield. We have actually tanked our reputation with Steiner quite a lot. So, getting out of that pit again is not going to be easy. Uh, we have to play a bunch of missions here. We were playing for the independence and for the periphery realms quite a lot. And therefore, against Steiner. So, yeah. Usually, usually it's good to have like one or two factions that you're in good standing with and then you just farm their areas and play against other factions that are their enemies. Um, but right now, I, I just need any kind of salvage. Forces, They're on their last stand. Okay. Let's get to the forward operating base. I'm on my way. Yeah, so when I'm super active with my LRMs, I need another ton or an another half ton I would say is good enough right now. But I cannot really squeeze it into the mech unless we find more upgrades like Endosteel or Ferrofibrous. We need to lower the weight of the mech to squeeze in more things. We got a Hunchback friend. Okay. And we got a Valkyrie. We need to make sure that the Hunchback survives. 
that AC-20 on the battlefield in the long run is going to be really good. So, enemies, where are you? Yeah, that's what we are here for, being friendly. SRM-60, man. I don't really want to be in them, uh, in them faces, yeah. Holy crap. I cannot talk to that. I'm sorry, guys. No, I don't want to be in, in their face when they are shooting their weapons. Whee! Ah, uh, it wasn't a soft landing. But hey. Down goes the first tank. Indirectly. We see a spider, we see a locust. Eh. So far, so lame. Locust is closing in fast. Mm. Spider is... A bit faster, I, th eh, I mean, he's not technically faster, but I think he's closer. Anyway, uh, what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna attack the Locust. Let's see if we can actually hit some missiles against that little guy. Most of them will probably hit the ground. As it is the nature of spread weapons against fast-moving mechs. But we got the laser beams. On the leg. On the kill. Oh, nice center hit. Here he is. Ah, bad shot. But hey, that was good from the cicadas end. Panther. Got it. And another spider. Yeah, the panther is technically slower, so we can leave him there for the moment. I'm gonna go for the spider first and, you know, try to deal some damage against them. Ah, Spidey seems to be confused. Now he's closing in. At 900 meters, we start shooting. Because he will also close distance while we are moving forward. Getting into our LRM range. Zap. And so far, we are doing a good job, you know? Keeping our hunchback alive, keeping the base at 100% so far. But it'll change when the panther is coming in. That's a kill. No! So close. Got him. So, turn around. Panther also does not engage. I don't know, something's wrong with the AI. They're taking too long, honestly. Taking too long to actually go in. SRM 40 carrier, J. Edgar. I'm missing a target. I see four enemies in front of me. Oh, there's one behind? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, on the carrier. Harasser, actually. Easy targets. Very little armor. And then directly towards the panther. I love this thing. The jump jets, the missiles, the laser beams. Everything is working quite nicely. I really don't want to give up the jumps because I'm able to pop up, shoot some missiles, get down again. You know, it's good. Got him. Carrier next. Carrier down. You go for the Edgar. I'll take the Harasser. Wherever it is. What's oh, a carrier. Sorry for that. Yeah, I'm still out of range. I think we can shoot now again. And maybe he's closing in. This is so funny that we are still at 100... Oh, I wanted to say at 100% base health. It's not a perfect... Okay, fine. And that's the last guy. Yeah, what we don't have is armor. We have good firepower. But as you can see, our right shoulder is not in a good spot. Good. That worked. So, on towards the next mission. Man, I really hope that we get a bit of a reputation bump here so we can play the duel with uh, three salvage picks. Let's see. I will probably take the panther parts here. They are most likely the best ones we can... Yes! Perfect. Uh, that we can acquire. So... Panther 1, Panther 2. Ah, only one of them? But anyway, that is enough. That is enough to build. Beautiful. Take LRM-10 to upgrade. Bit of ammo. Actually, jump jets are better because sometimes there's a cantina quest that requires you to take jump jets and turn them in. Alright. So... That'll get us to our fourth mech. That's a panther. Assemble. Let's go. 
Ooh, the core is gone. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. But we have the PPC again. I think I want to keep that around for the moment. Guys, I think this is going to be all right. What's the deal here? The broken core is heavy? I don't know. I don't care. We are not building it here. We want to go to an industrial hub. That's what I talked about earlier. So we do some quick battlefield repairs. And then we are playing the duel. Oh boy. Let's see what it is. 8v8. This is a tier 16 mission. We get three salvage shares now. Beautiful. And the more we, we grind and the more reputation we get, the better it's gonna be for us. The faster we will actually acquire these parts and, uh, you know, the, the, the more we will accelerate, basically. Our loot spiral will go up. And that's what we need. Because right now we are just running light mags and that one medium mag, as in a cicada, which is barely a medium. It's just a 40 toner, come on. It's a heavier light. It's doing the job, though. So, what would I take here? I'm still looking for Centurion parts. I wouldn't say no to the Vulcan. I would love to get a Shadowhawk. Enforcer would be fine as well. Alrighty then, let's go. So, we got six enemies. We are also a total of six friends. Good. So it's an even fight. And it's a hot planet. Ugh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We should probably wait for them to engage us. Because these guys will just not move, right? Yeah. We got an SRM Javelin, we got a Panther, and a Vindicator with a hatchet. Come on, guys. Let's get moving. It's gonna wake up a little bit. Really wonder what we will see on the battlefield on the other side there. Oh, man. Could be bad for us. Something with long range, big pinpoint. Anything with big auto cannons or uh, PPCs would be bad. Come on! Ah. Yeah, I guess we have to lure them into our spot. Let's see if we can get line aside. Oh, that is a big no. So we have to advance and then fall back. God, I hate that. Oh, there it is. That's a blackjack. That's what I mean with the auto cannons. They have some range and firepower. Um, actually, disengage. We will fall back. Never mind. Why am I sending you in there? Problem is the blackjack. It's gonna tear us apart at range. Hmm. We need to fight with six versus six. I don't think that it is possible otherwise. Oh, there's a guy. Fire starter. Our Vindicator is moving a bit. Just a bit. I don't know, man. Having the jump jets is good here because we can... We can actually check the horizon. Nope. They're not closing in any further. Oh, boy. I'm stuck. Spider? Can we get a shot out? Yeah, we could, but it's not gonna connect. Ah, they've at least the Vindicator is pushing a little bit. As soon as he's engaged, I think we can do it. Telling my people that they should follow me. Yo, Vindy, what's going on, man? There's a guy. Let's go! I should really go for the Jack because he's already damaged. And he's the major target on the battlefield right now. I see an urban mech on the right side, by the way. Let's go. Let's do it. I hope that the others will join the fight. That's my, my only hope right now. The spider, while well, we have no other target. Oh, the blackjack is on me. We want to get that thing down. Yes, perfect. Next up is the fire starter. And as I said earlier, the others are now coming in. Ah, uh, I'll stay on the jack, I think. I know we are spl splitting our attention, which is usually not advised, but this guy is certainly killable. Switch target. Okay. 
so far. So good. He's almost open. Now he is. Oh, uh, he's down. Perfect. On the fire starter now. This planet is way too hot for me. <laughs> oh my god. But all of them are hot. And it's also one of the reasons why we need to take the fire starter out. Because if they also apply extra heat from flamers on top of that, it's gonna be bad. Oh, getting attacked. I should get moving. And that's the fire starter down. Not quite yet. Come on. That fire starter. Living forever. Really try to hit center mass as much as possible. That's a little bit too much. Ooh, did we get it? He might be dead. Yeah, I think we got him. Okay, so next up. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. Next up is the flea. Somebody, somebody is scrambling sensors up there. You know that? Th this little icon next to our friends is ECM. So why are the sensors scrambled? Is there a raven on the battlefield? Hmm? Really hope so. I want the raven in my lands. It's another fire starter. Hmm? It's not the last guy. Oh, it's the fire starter running EW countermeasures. Interesting. Interesting. Last guy is the flea. Yeah, taking it slow here and playing it very, very carefully, I think was the right call. Ah, another one. Of course, the urban mech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at that guy. He's headshot already. This is water, right? Yeah, it cools. Perfect. Great, so we can engage now. Ah, too far. Wasted heat, big time. Let's go get him. But don't get killed, that thing has firepower. Ideally, we hit him in the head again. Wherever that might be. Wanna wait for my laser so I can make a call shot. Uh, wait, I cannot see, it's too... Ah, let's go for it. Huh? Yeah. And another one. Got him. Yeah, good. Wow. That is a lot of good stuff on the battlefield, and I really wonder what their weapon systems are, like which tier it is that we are facing here. It could be tier 2 weapons already. Maybe. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, we have a panther coming up. That is our fourth mech, and that alone is enough to push for tier 20 missions, I think. Easily. Uh, 12 picks. I could take two parts of a fire starter. The flea is not bad. I don't know. The Urban Mech R60M is not bad. A medium pulse tier 1. Uh, we got a double heat sink. I would like that. At the same time, we might as well buy them, right? From the market. So two parts of a fire starter? And then get another one and just build a fire starter instead of the panther? I think it is the better mech, honestly. The panther has a tendency to lose the right arm. The fire starter has weapons all over the place. It's really good. And it has a lot of them. This guy here, seven energy hard points. Just slap small lasers on it and be good. Also comes with Guardian ECM. Oh, not bad. An AMS? I mean, why not? And then a medium pulse laser. All right. So far, so good. There's a three mission operation that I cannot take, as I said earlier. So what we're going to be doing now is... Um, we do want to go to York. But there are some missions on the way. We could play Demolition easily. Oh, I could also pick up some Cantina missions, which I should totally do. So we're going to travel here first. It'll take a bit of time, I know. But um, it's going to be worth it. It's totally going to be worth it. So, gonna pick him up. These missions are beautiful. That extra money that we get out of them is just so, so nice. So, where are we? Kill Firestarter? Yes. Uh, kill J. Edgar? Yes. Go and get police armor? I mean, it's money. Maybe we can find it. 
If not, then I don't really care. Okay, so it's a high tier mission here, huh? Oh my god. Uh, those in need. Uh, I mean, why not? Let's accept it. Pixar Cantina is now available. Yes, please. Thank you. The list. Wait, that's new, right? We have provided you a list of elite pilots spread across the inner sphere. Aside from the fact that each pilot is highly skilled, they have their own scores to settle, many of which have already organized contracts for. Commander, we have a vested interest in seeing your company grow. Take advantage of these situations. Accept the contracts we put together for these individuals and use your generous help as leverage in convincing them to join the company. Oh, elite pilots? Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't want to read all of this right now. You know what? I'm going to accept this. Edder. Chainsaw. You say we get a Vindic... Oh, I love the idea. I love the idea of mech warriors being like, like noble knights in the medieval times. These, uh, you know, these seasoned veterans with their trusty steed and their, and their trusty companion. And we get a mech warrior here. A tier 60 mech warrior. Medium lasers tier 5, large lasers tier 5, a hatchet and a vindicator. We gotta do that. Oh, <gasps> Shadowhawk. Yes. Another tier 60 pilot and auto cannon 5 burst fire. I mean, Goblin? Ah, yeah, Goblin. Oh, do we wanna. I don't really want. I, I mean, I want Goblin, but... Uh, it's, it feels too easy. Now we have a Phoenix Arc, you know? It's just... I was just about to be excited about the Panther. Now I got a Phoenix Arc and I'm like, yeah, whatever. About the Panther. I don't care anymore. Um, It's nice, I guess. What would you, what would you do, guys? Would we use the Phoenix Arc hero that we've just gotten? Is that a thing that I put on the battlefield? Yes or no? Or should I just put it to cold storage? Because we now just got a very, very good mech. That is above our, our weight class. That we are in right now. I wish you could disable those, actually. These random... Yeah, have a freebie. It's a nice thing, but... Look at all of this. Cobalt, look at... This is just... Uh, too much. Can I struggle a little bit more? Oh. <laughs> anyway... Anyway, anyway, anyway. So there's a black market. We want to quickly check that. We got assault stuff. We got light hammer fists. Medium hatchets. Uh, what about this? Speedy leg actuators. You know I like them, right? We're gonna find them later. Agility gyro. I need mobility gyros. Come on. Arrow four, half ton. Sure. Yeah, all of these things don't matter yet. Yet. Uh, fusion cores, no XL upgrades, primitive, quick cell pharaoh. Okay, 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 okay. So guys, we're gonna play one more mission. However, I want to get my fourth mech on the battlefield as well. We'll do it later. You know what? I'll do my battlefield repairs and we're gonna go down here to Quilo, Quilino. We play the demolition. That's what we do. That's what we are here for. And then we're gonna go to the industrial hub on the way down. Maybe play another mission and build our panther, I guess. Again, let me let me know down below in the comments what you would do, because I'm really torn. I It's nice to get the freebie, but it feels a little bit like cheating. I wanted to actually achieve all of this myself and not get that big power spike randomly. It's a beachhead defense. I was really hoping we could finish the mission here. Well, I guess we play a beachhead defense. Why not? Bad news, Commander. Extreme weather conditions means you'll not prepare be you with limited visibility and compromised sensors on this mission. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna use Goblin yet. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen. <sighs> Feels bad. A little bit. Just a little bit. So, Beachhead Defense. This is kind of the inverted Beachhead. Now, we are the guys defending, obviously, and enemies are bringing in waves of uh, mechs and tanks to actually destroy our base. And there will be secondary objectives that we also have to um, keep alive. 
Like, if they destroy our sensor arrays, then they can land dropships, and that's the thing that we don't want. Or maybe we do want that, so that we have a little bit more of salvage on the battlefield. I don't know. Lights on! I don't know if I want to station some of my friends on the satellite uplinks. Yes, it's better to have them around me so we can focus our fire. This is the base's automated defense system speaking. There are two satellites. Anyway, I love that voice actress. These relays will be shown on your heads up display. Alright. If hostilities destroy these relays, they will be able to deploy their left. Everything is close together, that's good for us. Like, this is the base to defend. This, these are the arrays, relays. Deploy your forces as you see fit. Hostilities yeah. are nearing the beachhead as we speak. Okay, we got a fire starter. We got a Phoenix Hawk somewhere. There is a Shadow Hawk. There is a Locust. Sure. Bring it, enemies. Bring it. We are ready. Oh, and we actually have the thing on the battlefield. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell my people to stay here. I'm taking my fastest mech to run to the edge of the map. Oh my god. Ugh. In position, Commander. Yeah, hold it. Just hold it, okay? La 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 la. I'm just an innocent Jenner. Okay, on the way, I think I can take a J. Edgar. Help out a little bit, you know. Rest her down. Where's Edgar? You wanna make me hot? Ooh. Maybe. Try again. Got him. So, we took a good chunk of damage in that engagement. Ooh, our leg is not looking great. So the relay is under attack. It's fine. They have mechs coming down here and another tank. A pattern is a thing that I shouldn't go in alone. Yeah, it's fine. We have firepower situated there. Hmm. The question is, can I, when I, when I got this thing, when I picked it up, can I then swap back to my other mechs and let the Jenner do its own thing on the way back? Or will it be torn to pieces? Because he's running into an enemy ambush or assault or whatever. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I should run back manually. But I also want to be in the fight, you know? Alright, let's see. So, by the way, the different cooldowns, they completely... Irritate me. Really like to have weapons that fire all at the same time. When I hold down my weapons, they're gonna cycle through and fire all at the same time again. Okay, so here we go. We lost a good chunk of armor already on the Panther. Oh my god. Uh, where are the majority of the enemies right now? Are there even any enemies? Okay. This is looking good. I think there was a Locust and a Patton here. Oh, there they are. Yeah, we found him. So, I'm gonna go for the Patton. God, please don't hit my right leg, buddy. Okay, that's left arm. I can deal with that. I need to break line of sight. Almost got him. Ah, so close. You know, I think... What? Cicada is clueless. Interesting. Uh, I think we we probably want to take him, yeah. There's another Cicada. What about the mechs that were behind us? Oh, there they are. Locust got hit by artillery big time, it seems. Alright, let's go for J. Edgar. the mediums going slow and steady I think this is very important that we are not overextending we're gonna take one enemy at a time it's a fire starter ah, I don't like it my arm uh, my, my leg uh, we got him very good 
That was a very valuable kill. Alright, we also might be able to salvage that guy to build the fire starter instead of the pan panther. Scorpion. Got the scorpion, perfect. I think I'm currently the first layer of defense here, which uh, I'm not really happy about, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Everything's coming from the south here. There's nothing between us and the enemies, or the base and the enemies, except us. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Another locust. Steal some slow DPS. Good. Perfect! We have the locust that is seemingly stuck somewhere and is getting attacked by artillery big time. We will go for the fire starter here. Let's missile him. There he is. He's running an AMS. Ah, oh, that's nasty. Countering my missiles, huh? And he might be able to counter all of them, by the way. Another wave of hostiles. Got it. Ah, left leg. I need to show the left side. Medium, laser, flamers. Ooh, it's the guy that has the ECM as well. I want that thing. Alright. Ah, the AMS is not really that helpful. I think the ECM is my bigger problem. Did you see the spread of that last missile barrage? Look at this. It's so massive because the warheads cannot really track the fire starter. Oh, we got him. Perfect. So, another fire starter in our pocket. Good. Our goal was to destroy three of them. It's looking good. My leg is certainly not, but in general, it's all right. How dare you? How dare you get in our base, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't really want to attack the locust in the outskirts. I really hope that artillery will deal the damage and gets the job done. Mm, I need to go. I, I was hoping that he was coming into line of sight. Obviously, he's not. Did you just artillery your own base? Where's the Valkyrie? There he is. Seems to be the last targets, if you ask me. I know I'm destroying the base right now. But it's it's needed. I don't want to go down there. No, stay on the high ground, shoot from above, get a better view. Got him. So I believe, honestly, our last enemy is the Locust that's somewhere in the outskirts. Um, that means... Yeah, we're gonna hunt him down. Where's the artillery firing at? Oh, there's another guy. Shadowhawk! Shadowhawk! Oh, I want him. I want him. Bad. Show the left side because right leg is somewhat damaged already. We are slowly but surely running out of ammunition. Got 90 shots left. Yeah. Alright, we're trying. Bit of chain fire. Almost down. really hoping I could get that missile shot out. I know I was hard. I thought the laser weapon was too hard, but maybe we could go in with our missile. Was not the case. Cool. I will switch to the Jenner and then we go south, because this is where we saw the, the Locust. A small laser, a small laser short burst, and then two medium lasers, and two SRMs. This is all over the place. But I think at this point we can think about Focusing a bit more on certain builds. It was in this rock formation, right? 
And if we cannot access him directly, then we might be able to spot him for the artillery. It's pretty messed up already. Kill steal. There it is. And that is it. Beautiful. So, that's Beachhead Defense, everybody. With higher tiers of uh, mission rating, this is actually quite a nice battlefield. This is escalating left and right, and you always have to you put your fingers into different positions where you always want to be. We got the police body armor as well. That's really nice. And we got 31 picks? Oh! No, that is interesting. I'll take the hawk parts. It's a primitive one, but it has some options. Cicada. Hmm. I'll certainly take two of these fire starter parts. No, wait. I have to pick... Huh. I think I have to pick three in order to build this one. I'll take one. Let's see if we can build. It should be fine. Beagle Active Pro. Now, that's the thing that's not... Bad. But it's also not exciting. Machine gun single heat sinks. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Guess I'll take another fire starter part because I can. Okay. Here we go. Man, we are making progress. Got three flamers tier one, some single heat sinks, and 400,000 sea bills. Good. Now. The big question is, can we build a fire starter? No, we have like so many different parts of so many different fire starters. Yeah, that's the thing, that's a bit unfortunate. But we also got three Shadow Hawk parts now. And I'm super excited about that. Guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.